Is disco satanic? The occult grid pattern seen on early alchemical plates used by magicians to create the global matrix we live in today. We are joined by the homuncologist himself, the one-on-one -on -one podcast, to dive deep on this gridlocked matrix. Yeah, I want to get crazy with this episode. The conscious observer has an effect on reality. How in a video game that follows a grid, the Cartesian coordinate system, I think, therefore I am, that guy. We all know it goes back to Daddy Pythagoras. He says all is number, the three squares that make the triangle. By him saying all is number, I believe he's hinting at some sort of simulation. I believe that these occultists have figured out ways to tap into that number system. The Cartesian coordinate system, I believe, is a sort of manifestation device, like a Masonic tracing board of some sorts where you're able to use that to manifest Number ideas. Freemasonic G, this is also that disco ball in the checkerboard floor. The retro wave, the disco ball, and the grid down below, as above, so below. But we're talking electronics in the grid. Even your cell phone has this grid. The sigils in that grid are secret society symbols. Here's Aleister Crowley's grid. So disco is this part of that whole system. H.P. Lovecraft and Crowley and all these guys that were trying to bring forth what? The Whore of Babylon, the Aeon of Horus and all these, they were trying to bring forth the end of the world. Well, who else is trying to bring forth the end of the world? John D and Edward Kelly. The entities that they were in touch with through the use of Enochian magic, which also uses a grid these Enochian tablets use a grid. Maybe don't show that on your YouTube because I don't want no magic coming. Yeah, things can happen if you show those. These movies, music and culture shape our reality. As above, so below the reflection of it says wicked. And the group that made disco popular was ABBA, and even their name is the reflection as above, so below. A is one, B is two, so it's a three, a 33. The disco dance, is he doing the bafflement? Miss Pac-Man, as above, so below, is where we're getting these emojis from. This alchemist, John D. Then you got the DJ, the disc jockey was termed by the top G. Well, the G is a government man. And the guy who termed disc jockey was the top G for the government. The Archimedean solids, the platonic solids, they were all obsessed with turning their ideas into geometric figures. The Cartesian coordinate system lets them do just that. It lets you take an incorporeal idea and manifest it into a 3D realm, a 3D figure. It's in ceremonial magic, a magical formula or a word of power is a word that is believed to have specific supernatural effect. Mind you, this goes back to Thelema, which was Crowley's system of magic. And he used Abrahadabra because he described it as the word of the Aeon, which signifies the great work accomplished. Now, part of the magnum opus is being able to step outside of reality and affect it from the outside. There's a lot of connections with television, movies, and music. ABBA even made a play called Chess. You can see them on their covers on the grid patterning, but they're bricks. The grid in the matrix. Here's another Illuminist album cover with the pyramid. And here's one of their music videos with the 322 in it. And disco became popular through pirate radio. ABBA on the checkerboard floor, which is also the disco floor. Take a chance on me. They sang this in the office, which has the checkerboard floor. They had their own cafe disco. And Michael Scott was also a magician doing the as above so below hand signal that you see on the tarot magician card as above so below with the infinity logo the ouroboros at dunder mifflin they had dunder mifflin infinity well what is a what is b what is c what do these things mean so i, I believe that they they found a, a way to sort of hack this matrix if it is a matrix based on number mathematics mathematics is a powerful thing we know that computers run off of it
let's take it a step further because we're talking about magical formula we're talking about the use of mathematics of grid systems that revolutionize math and it's used in everything anything that's analytical geometry anything any product that was designed that you're using right now including your phone and everything else was designed using this grid system so you have john d with the monus hieroglyphica which he said it was a symbol a sigil which he was able to use to peel back the layers of reality and tap into that. John Dee was an interesting character. He's back in the 16th century. Guess what he also helped lay the foundation for? He was friends with all the greatest cartographers. We brought him up on that episode with the black rock at the North Pole. Mercator was writing to John Dee about that black rock that was 33 miles long, magnetic at the North Pole. He contributed and help lay the foundation for the latitude and longitude system. That is a worldwide grid that is being used right now by everyone. As John D was talking about the black rock, the game Simon is Hyperborea, that 33 mile black rock with the four corners. They launched the game at a disco studio, which is that black rock. And the latitude and longitude symbols is the disco ball with the grid. What if the system that we know today, even as, I don't, I don't know if you've ever heard of the 12 vial vortices around the world. We have all these different things that happen on the 33rd parallel. We have JFK assassination. You have all the death row states along that. So what if these lines are used and they're charged and people are able to manifest either these entities through these ley lines, or what if through these 12 vial vortices is where these entities are coming through? The disco ball is a lot like the crystal ball. In this painting, she's holding the crystal ball and underneath is the checkerboard floor, just like in disco. So disco is this part of that whole system. John D used a mirror, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall. I mean, it all goes into some magic stuff. It was called a myriad ball before it was called a disco ball. And the name myriad means penis, Latin Mewtwo. Buckminster Fuller that did the Epcot ball at Disney and he's talked about how that shape based off of Euclid's 47th proposition is so this is the music the four on the floor which brought in electronic dance music today in EDC and whatnot this grid but you can see it in these alchemical plates in this book called Atalanta Fugians. Fugians is a musical note because these elements like music are part of alchemy. Atalanta Fugians. Fugians is a fugue. It's musical. It's all about music. A fugue is a technique in music. And this is the pinnacle of music was Bach in his well-tempered clavier. And he was a fugue composer. What Bach did with music was alchemical. And then they just lower the music and make it dumber and dumber down, dumbed down. And there's proof of this. Modern art was a CIA weapon, a cultural cold war. The influence of art and all the actors were like, this is so amazing. All the millionaires. Oh, you got to have these paintings of Jackson Pollock. And just looking at his paintings give you a headache. The Tavistock Institute build the hippie movement the counterculture and push drugs on everybody. The disco movement, it was all about cocaine. Disco ended when they raided Studio 54 and then they threw a huge event on a baseball field. And the baseball field is just an alchemical game. Master destroyer, master builder. It's all occult magic. Just like, in my opinion, disco. 